This is a sign of the times we are living in where we're reacting to a reaction video of the channel Jolly trying it, Brits trying real Texas barbecue for the first time. Now I've had Texas barbecue probably where they're at, but hey, this is our time. Let's see what they what they what they think of it. And look, I'm from the state of North Carolina. We have two different types of barbecue, Eastern style and Western style, uh, linking on which one has more vinegar, which one's more tomato based. So anyway, I've got strong opinions on barbecue. And so I think I'm, at least I'm one of the people that's I, ripe for this type I, of video. I feel like once you get down South, right? Once you, I would say, I would categorize, all right, I'm one of the people that don't categorize Virginia as in the South. I, I can't put it in the South. Even if you're Southern Virginia, I think the South for me starts at North Carolina and yeah. lower. Like, I guess we just exclude the areas of the Northern part of Virginia, Richmond and Virginia Beach. That's the South. That Anywhere that's not those three areas. Yeah. I just feel like Virginia is not known for barbecue. I, mm -hmm. I feel like barbecue battle goes from the Carolinas to Texas. Texas uh you know, there's kansas city style yep but anyway uh let's just see how they yeah. take on texas barbecue let's do it three two one hi i'm josh i'm ollie and today we're gonna try texas barbecue i'm excited for you son <laughs> <laughs> feels like christmas morning I I and i bought you an n64 right <laughs> you've been asking for it for months <laughs> these are the offset smokers so what are we smoking in here Christmas. Oh, oh wow. How long have these been on? 12. Josh took up barbecue a year ago, I think. He's been talking since he got that barbecue. I want to go to Texas. I mean, look at him. He's literally taking selfies now, in front oh. of the sign. Yeah. So, oh. Yeah, okay. so he's got one of those uh, those egg cookers, uh, uh, not, but not the ones that the Brits are accustomed to, like Green Egg. That's a brand of smoker. Uh, that... That, that's a good starter for that. It looks more like a grill than yeah, it does a, yeah. a, a smoker. But then again, remember, the word barbecue is kind of sort of bastardized. Yeah, yeah. Especially in the southeast of the United States. Do not get that wrong. For all the Brits yeah. watching, do not get that wrong. Yeah, no. Barbecue in the southeast refers to the meat, the process of making, you know, barbecue, like, you know, pulled pork ribs burnt ends and what we what you call a barbecue is a grill yeah and it's not a barbecue it's a cookout yeah that's the, what you go to yeah but the rest of the united states i can't speak on them they get it wrong fight yeah, we, me. we we also get it wrong up here too that's mm -hmm. hey we're gonna have a barbecue you know that's kind of what is can be said here and i understand what you just said yeah right yeah, it's yeah. not right because i tend to agree with spencer on this one 100 thank, thank you you know i'm saying it wrong <laughs> thank you if you invite me to a barbecue anybody watching and it's just hamburgers and hot dogs <laughs> i will be polite but inside i will be screaming <laughs> and want to punch you in the face yeah it's a, a cookout but okay Cool. And also in the comments, before we get too lost and I get too hungry and I forget words, let <laughs> let me know in the comments or let actually let Spence know if there are comparable UK restaurants or smokehouses that do a, a style of uh, barbecue. American barbecue. Yeah. Um, and where they are, because I am coming in June. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'd like to see how y'all handle that. Yeah. If you handle it well. Or, or if not, like some American style food, like, you know, yeah. burgers, that would uh, be cool. things like that. He's so happy. I've never seen you this happy. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm skipping. I've never seen you this I'm happy. Skipping. That wow. is ridiculous. Size of your head off. Yeah, I've got a whopper of a head. significantly bigger than your head. I have, I have a head. huge head. Genuinely, that Amazing. has made my year. <laughs> Thanks, Oscar. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Doing God's work. Doing God's work. <laughs> oh. Man, he's he's just having a field day, man. He is the appropriate level of of giddy. Yeah. That is the yeah. appropriate level of, of happiness. Mm, 
I can't wait. I, 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 I feel like that's gonna be me when I when I go to all the Greg's locations. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Yeah, yes, Trini, please. I think they're gonna try a little bit of everything. First and foremost is the beef rib. In the oh. barbecue world, we call that the Rolls Royce of barbecue. Wowzers. It is just gorgeous. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. Rolls Royce of barbecue, look at that. Oh that is huge. Yeah, and then we're gonna try a little bit of the brisket here. This is the end pieces on the brisket. I don't know if you wanna try it out right now. Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. It's like heaven melting in your mouth right now. It's, uh, you gotta try a little turkey, man. Oh, this is a little turkey. turkey. Yeah. Yeah. That's the best turkey I've ever It is. Really? The best turkey. I love how enthusiastic all yeah. your employees yeah. here are. How am I gonna fit this into this torso? My daughter, she'll put down a beef for three, four and a pint of macaroni. How old is your daughter? 14. Okay, so good god, man. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, everything's bigger in Texas, man. Bro, what? 14? Dude, this is, I call this a shut-off platter. After you're, after, this is, expect no productivity to be had by just trying to tackle and eat this. Yeah, yeah, this is your whole day. This like, is block done. off the whole day, you're not doing anything else. Yep. Yeah, and I mean, the rest of the country... Like where the both of us are, North Carolina and Maryland, it's not that big. Like, no. but it's it's like three quarters at least of that yeah. size, but or two thirds. But that's Texas. That's an anomaly. Yeah, that's, Texas just everything's they, bigger there in Texas. Shouldn't be you. Sh they're they're like customers. Do not let anyone see the tray. Fill it with food. Hell yeah. Hell <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm carrying a 14-year-old child. Okay. This is so heavy. I want to see Adam's reaction when he sees all this. So, Ads, these are the sides. <laughs> and this is the meat. Oh, careful, you almost fell over. What on earth? I'm so hungry now. Where do we start? Like, what on earth? Let's start with the brisket. Oh my God. Hell yeah. It's like almost about to rip. But it okay. won't. You can see the bark around the edges. It's soft, heavy. This is crazy. Look at that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes! Mm. Yes! Oh my goodness me. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap. We're not going to be able to film this. Like, I, don't, I, I can't, I have nothing to say. I almost want to cry. That's so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Good. <laughs> He's like, yeah, these two are in hog heaven. Oh, man. That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. You can't, you can't. Oh, I, I can't wait for the comments. Please tell me you guys have something that's close because just to, because honestly, it's worth the trip to eat this. Yes, to Texas. And like, where can I get the meat sweats over in your side of the yeah, country? I'll tell you what, man, uh, that's, that's, you know, I, and I'm not even a big advocate for my state, which I'm proud of, which is crazy. Go to Texas, yeah. eat well. <laughs> and and when, when they go to your state, Maryland, like try not to go to Baltimore, yeah, like, no, no, or no. if you do just for a day and, it, like Survive. if you've seen the wire that's a good guide yeah. but like there's good seafood there yeah, crab there cakes that's crab what cakes. you're gonna get in maryland 100%. and you know north carolina uh with bojangles uh uh different types of barbecue which uh not <laughs> i'm gonna be honest it's not comparable to this this is no, a this shit is, ton better you, this is like the bar this yeah. is like you want all the meat? Like the cow did not survive. Clearly, no. you know no. what I mean. All of it is there. What's left of the cow? Yeah. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Bark on that is so full of flavor. The, the, the like the kind of crispy layer oh, around like a, the edge. Like a tree bark. You see how it's yeah blackened around the edge mm. because it's absorbed so much smoke. They're so full of flavor. The meat on the inside is so soft. Okay, you guys need to try this. You, you have to taste this. Try that, the bark around the edge, the softness of the meat. <laughs> what? 
How is it so soft and so meaty it's, and like? It's so much flavour. I think that's the thing with slow cooking is it retains all of the moisture. So it's so juicy. Like it's, it's so oozing juicy. with juice. Ducky, duck. Yeah. About that, like the long smoking, it's almost like like stewing or braising because it's usually tougher cuts of meat, like a pork butt or a beef brisket uh, shoulder. Um, no, brisket, that's that's the that's right here, never mind. Uh, but it has a lot of connective tissue in it, which co mostly collagen, which when you cook it a long time, you don't cook it to doneness, you cook it to tenderness, which is like instead of like 160 it's like 210 fahrenheit and it's it's the same as like a stew you yeah. know it the the connective tissue dissolves into gelatin makes it very unctuous like that so that's that's what they're experiencing right there with the slow cooking so he's right he's 100 percent right that's awesome yeah mm. <laughs> that's for you my friend oh oh that's a big bite that is a big bite <laughs> He's so happy. This may be the best barbecue we ever eat in our lives. Well, not with that attitude. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm genuinely lost for words. I'm speechless. How could a 14-year-old girl eat a whole <laughs> plate of that? <laughs> Come on. Let's keep okay, going. Let's I want to try some other Beef rib. Stuff. Beef rib. What? Look at that thing. Is that? It's the Rolls Royce it, of barbecue, it, apparently. It looks like something out of the Flintstones. Yeah, well, I you think know? they literally nicknamed this cut a dino rib. Because nice. look how big it is. Look at the size of it. Oh my gosh. Oh, you've got the end. Look at the other side. Oh. You've got the end of the rat. Look at the bark on that. This is absolutely ridiculous. They often say, you know, meat on the bone is the best because it gets the most flavor. Okay. This is literally, this is basically like brisket on a bone. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Come on, son. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yabba dabba do. That is incredible. <laughs> no, that's not funny. That's not funny. What do you mean? Did I, I mean offend no, the no, meat no, gods? No, no, not not your okay. joke. I mean the the meat. Like that's not my, my joke. Also, that wasn't funny. That, that can't be that good. I think it's better than the brisket. Oh, this is, it, it, it's fattier, which basically means more flavor. The bark is somehow a little bit crispier and the meat is somehow a little bit softer. If I press this, like, can you see how juicy it is? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can you see that? Uh, oh, it's dripping juice. Okay, I'm going in for another bite. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh. I'm gonna start crying. What? I'm just bracing myself right now what? for the number of conversations I'm going to have to endure with you telling people about this experience. <laughs> for the rest of our life. One of the best mouthfuls of food I've ever had. Is it the best? I can't think of anything better. I think I am sharing the best meal I've ever had with Josh. <laughs> Man. I haven't even had that before. Man, that, that thing meat is on the bone. Yeah! Yeah! That's massive. Oh, man. And that hey, I haven't even, haven't even gotten to the sides yet. Oh, yeah. That's something that I've, I've, I've heard is that sides are more of an afterthought across the pond. Whereas sides, even though they're called sides, they're a staple. They, yeah. We've made them a prominent staple of any oh, dish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, French fries, mac and cheese, collard greens, black eyed peas. Yeah, you name mm, it. You baked name beans, it. American baked beans. Yeah, completely different thing than the British baked beans. And it's just, it's just completely different experience. It's just yeah. like aside, it could be comparable to another effing meal. Yeah, yeah, and that's not even counting dessert. Yeah, or that's right too. Yeah, I don't know yeah. how these guys are gonna get through any of this like there's no way they're gonna get i mean how big is their team four people yeah like, four people maybe i mean maybe. they're gonna tr they'll try every little thing Holy but what they do crap. with the leftovers that's a whole other thing oh my god yeah our wives are gonna be furious oh gabby i feel so bad i, I need to I bring her back here bad. i knew you first Make sure. i deserve this <laughs> <laughs> just just take an enormous bite biggest bite you can oh yeah 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 oh. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that's how you do yeah. it do you see what i mean 
it's softer. Oh my gosh. And yet. The way he ate that, it looked like an alligator eating a bird. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Folding into its mouth. It's so flavorsome, so juicy. You don't need any sauce or anything. Oh, you would almost be criminal to put a sauce on that. Oh, yes. Try that. Yeah. Do that's... not put sauce on, on the meat. And like, I now this is a controversial barbecue take. If the barbecue needs sauce, it's not good barbecue to begin with. Period. I mean, if you, maybe just a little bit to uh, just uh, highlight flavors, not but not pouring it on to cover it up, or no. maybe you dip your French fries in it. Yeah, as long as the meat isn't pre-sauced, then the place trusts its meat. Yeah, yeah, right. That's if you get sauce after the fact, that's a you thing. But if they yeah. if if they give if they if they give you just pure meat, they trust it, and that's a yeah. good thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it it doesn't need sauce if it's that good. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. And and but this is that looks. I am starving right now. Mm -hmm. God. We're only halfway through this video, bro. Jesus. Hmm. The world's most carnivorous duck over there. Just <laughs> uh, <laughs> eyeing up the bread. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can we can split this okay. up, chuck it. <laughs> Adam. We've peaked. How are we gonna get better than this? I mean we're barely a quarter of the way through and already I genuinely think this is maybe the best meal of my life. Wow. Yes. In all seriousness. Commiserations, Scabby. You tried. But at the end of the day I won. <laughs> oh, pork rib. Pork this, rib. I'm, I'm, I'm so stunned. Oh, look at the jiggle on that. Look, look at the at jiggle the on that. Jiggle on that. The smoke okay. ring looks beautiful. Yeah. I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. Ooh. What? Mm. Oh my god. Oh it's my. so sweet. It's like it's been soaked in water. It's, it's like, so moist. It's so juicy. It's like pork candy. That doesn't sound good, but it's unbelievable. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, it is truly offensive, isn't it? Mind boggling. That we grew up having English barbecue, that it shared the same name. You basically cremate a burger, <laughs> right? And put it in bread. <laughs> okay, so earlier you were saying, is there equivalent that, apparently that's the equivalent. Oh. And uh, respectfully, uh. no thank you. It's, 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 it's just, hey, hey, you know? You, who would know if you're not experiencing this? How how do you know this exists? You know, correct, correct. Luckily, I followed a few uh, Instagram accounts that do uh, talk about some burger places in the UK. Oh wow! And apparently, they look really good. Really? So, okay. So I have a few on my list already that I'm gonna try. There you and go. Luckily, some uh, kind souls have uh, covered me for breakfast and lunch. That way, I can spend money on them. Yeah. So, man. Uh, oh. PO box in the description, by the yep. way. <laughs> All right, let's get some sausage. This is a classic UK barbecue staple: mm -hmm. sausage. However, sausage. obviously, we buy cheap sausages from Tesco, mm -hmm. and they don't really look anything like this. Let's give it a go. Mmm. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, England, we're quite proud of our sausages. You know, we do great sausage and mash. It is a great. That, that, that's, that's another league. This is almost insulting. There's a little bit of cheese and jalapeno in there. Can you oh. see that? Oh, oh. Is it good? Gosh, that's like a whole burger in a sausage. That's incredible. That is incredible. Wow. Both of you guys, you and Adam, you need to try that. Beef sausage right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> We've just taken it to another level. I'm what? embarrassed that we haven't thought of this. Yeah, like how's our country doing? Seriously. <laughs> well, I love that that shows how good it is. Left over meat after yeah. the brisket after yeah. the soup. Yeah, they they're making sausage with it. Sausage. But the flavors, like everything is so thought out. Just perfect. It's making me angry. Smoked turkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. man, sausages. Uh, I, I'll just have to compare. I'll you have, have to, man. Compare. Dude, I can't wait for your like vlog stuff, man. Because yeah, man. You know, like granted, remember, there's when you say sausages, there's no, there is no blood sausage on that plate. You there's know, not. there's no, or what would you say, black pudding or, or white pudding? But we do have sausage mixed with cheese and jalapeno, which is, I don't care who you are, that's god tier. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's absolutely god tier right that's, there. That's next level. Yeah, yeah. 
turkey. Wow, that, that feels very soft. Okay, no, no, I should say I'm skeptical about this, Josh. Very skeptical. Of course, skip. I mean, everything else we've tried it's has been turkey. so full of flavor. And this looks get, like the most bland thing ever. you ever have slices of turkey like this? Yeah, in Tesco's, they sell those. It's just not gonna be good, is it? Oh, let's see. Slow smoke. Okay. Wow. It's a different, a completely different animal. I Literally. Think, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're playing a different game. Nowhere near the flavor or the richness as everything we've tried so far. I mean, definitely the most flavorsome turkey I've ever had. Oh. Funnily enough, I think I might crave that. Do you imagine that in like a sandwich, turkey sandwich? Just for lunch. You could eat that every day. Every day. Twice a day. Yeah. The rest of it, I could do two or three times a week. I'm not sure whether I could do two or three times a week. <laughs> I mean, they said brisket is king. You and I both know from experience that Charles III is king at the moment. <laughs> Stop. So if you said to me, look, you've got to meet King Charles yeah. every single day, yeah. like he's going to be the main person you talk to, it would be overwhelming to my senses. Quite intense. Okay, Honestly, saying... I'm not sure my digestive tract could take the stress of it. You're saying the same thing the, about the brisket. The same applies to the brisket. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's honestly a, a, a good sentiment there. Because, yeah, it, it's quite indulgent. It's very, you know, you don't, we don't eat this every single day. Hell this is a, no. This is a special occasion thing, like a weekend thing, a summertime thing. I, I would say once every two months, and then you're teetering on too much. Like, yeah. like you don't go like this. And, and honestly, let just be pure transparent. This little side thing that they have right there, that is not cheap, what they got. That no. is definitely not cheap. They're looking at 150. I'm putting the price tag on 150 probably or more. Yeah, yeah. And that's before tipping because remember, you got tip in the United States. Yep. Can we try some cornbread? Yeah. Okay. Cornbread. <laughs> oh, it's really warm. Look at that. Oh, look how soft oh, and moist that is. Is that good? What the hell? Oh, okay. What? <laughs> that is it's like corn cake, like moist, delicious yep. cake. It literally tastes like Victoria sponge. Oh, no, it's better than Victoria sponge. It's delicious. I mean, Victoria sponge is pretty good. That is amazing. The owner, Robert, he is said it? that Patty Black, she makes these sides. This is her recipes. What the hell? If I lived anywhere near here, I'd just be here all the time. Mmm. Mac and cheese is incredible. Don't know what the hell that is, but green it's amazing. Corn is amazing. <laughs> Refried beans. No, there's chili with brisket. Oh, chili with brisket. Brisket oh, yeah. chili. Wow, that's amazing. Mexican rice. Yeah. yeah, it's all bloody brilliant, isn't it? There is something so unpretentious about this, though, right? We are literally on the side of a highway. I don't understand how they award Michelin stars, but I'm pretty confident that this place is never going to get a Michelin star. I have no idea why. Oh, and yet you can buy a meal that is among the best meals you can oh. buy in the world. This should have like 15 Michelin stars. He brings up a really good point. In America, like, especially, you know, these barbecue places, the less they spend on decor, the better the food's going to be. Yeah. And cheaper. Like, yep. when it's, you know, a, a cook back there that uh, uh, it, it has a very thick accent and probably has a lot of arm fat, you can be guaranteed it's going to be a damn good meal. Yeah, but... Those places don't crank out good barbecue. These places do, right? Are you talking yeah. about like the fancy places with the Michelin right. stars? Yeah. Don't yeah. go to them for barbecue. Yeah, ever. don't go to them for barbecue. Ever. Barbecue yeah. is for the people, by the people. Yeah, it's a it's a working class <laughs> yeah. uh, thing that sometimes is gentrified in those places you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Don't spend too much for a barbecue. Yeah. No, it has to be like on the side of the road, a pull off. You got to, you know what? You could, you can smell amazing barbecue from far away. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. And that's how you know it's good. Exactly. Exactly. I'm not sure that's 20. how it works. <laughs> no. It's 25, not. maybe 100. It's not just the more the merrier, like pile on. A Michelin <laughs> belt. That's not, that's not how it works. The <laughs> undisputed Michelin champion of the world. Should we try some peach cobbler? Peach cobbler. Wow, there's like yeah. proper chunks of peach in there. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> wow. Holy crap. 
Oh my god. I thought a cobbler was someone who made shoes. <laughs> Turns out they're very good at doing peach desserts yeah, as exactly. well. Exactly. <laughs> Multi talented. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, I mean, of course it's amazing. Everything's been absolutely just out of the park. Mm. Okay, look, yeah, Michelin Man, if you're watching, know. come to Texas and give <laughs> bloody Terry Black his 25 Michelin stars. Ah. Give him, you know, right? You're an idiot. <laughs> Nothing we say can oversell how good this is. Well, we've tried. I think uh, we're still just underselling it. Thank you, Terry. See you jolly soon. See you later. <laughs> how, how, how am I going to ever be able to eat anything else again? Nothing is going to satisfy. I've always <laughs> underplayed the sea jelly soup. It's almost like you guys don't want it to finish. I yeah. genuinely don't. Josh is like, I genuinely don't. I can't say any more about how good this is. <laughs> Man, that just made me happy. That was good. That, that was good. Just, come I, on. It must have been life changing for them to react like that. Just yeah. now, honestly, they didn't have one bad thing to say about any of the, the courses. And I, done right, all of those meats can be on their own and a strong force to be reckoned with. In the size too. Each individual meat and side could be its own meal, but they went all out and I appreciate that, that the, the folks from Jolly did that. Man, I'm telling you what, man. It's interesting to see because I feel like this is, this is a good insight, especially for us barbecue. That's at the heart of our culture here, man. To see how it's received the food. I feel like we're on par with everyone else's thoughts, but we can agree on food. Good food's good food. Hell yeah. Man. Is, this must be how most of our audience, our British audience, reacts to us checking out UK related things. I bet it is. This must I be bet. how it is. They're like, oh, where have you been your whole life? This is real comedy. Or this a is real, real barbecue, guys. Or a full English breakfast when we did that. That's, that's along the lines of this type of thing. Yep. So if y'all like that, I would love to, for us to check out more stuff from Jolly this on this is... channel. Please come out for this. I'm begging of you. And let us know if you've you've had barbecue in right. the States and where and how it was for you guys. If you share an experience like this. And uh, any Americans watching, uh, let Ooh. us know where's your uh, barbecue uh, to help our UK folk out. And to... defend it and defend it with all your might. Sell me and sell Spencer your favorite barbecue place in exactly. the US. After all that, we thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, watching another video. Yep. And what else, Dan the Man? Unplug and go, uh, go get some barbecue if you can. Hell, see you next time. Later.